Welcome to Remath. In this video, we have got these uh, two semicircles fully inscribed uh, in a bigger uh, semicircle, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, the center of this uh, largest uh, semicircle is O, the center for this uh, medium semicircle is P, and finally, the center for this uh, smallest uh, semicircle is Q. The radius for this uh, medium uh, semicircle is uh, 3 units, whereas uh, the radius for this uh, smallest uh, semicircle is uh, 2 units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, diameter AB of this uh, largest uh, semicircle is being represented by X, and this uh, diameter DE is parallel to this uh, diameter AB. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. In other words, we are going to calculate uh, the diameter of this uh, largest uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, medium uh, semicircle. We know its radius is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, radius uh, dp is going to be 3 and likewise this radius pe is going to be 3 units as well. And likewise, uh, the radius of this uh, smallest uh, semicircle is uh, 2 units. So therefore, uh, this radius uh, aq is going to be 2 and likewise this radius uh, qf is going to be 2 units as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. The angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. Now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center Q with this uh, center P. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder these points uh, P and Q and this uh, point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see this is the radius uh, of this uh, medium semicircle and we know the radius uh, is 3. And furthermore, uh, this uh, is the radius of this uh, smallest uh, semicircle and this is uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, PQ length is going to be 2 plus 3 is going to make uh, 5 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle PCQ. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, 5 is our hypotenuse whereas uh, 3 and uh, this uh, segment uh, QC are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, QC square plus uh, 3 square is going to be equal to 5 square. Let's simplify QC square plus 9 equals to 25. We are going to subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, QC square turns out to be equal to 16. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore, our QC segment length is going to be positive 4 units. So thus our QC segment length uh, turns out to be 4 units. In other words, uh, this segment uh, QC is uh, 4. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular AT on this uh, side AB. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, PE length is going to be equal to this uh, CT segment length. If this is uh, 3, then this CT segment length is going to be 3 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, segment uh, AT length is going to be equal to this individual segment uh, 2 and this uh, 4 and this uh, segment CT is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AT 
length is going to be equal to 2 plus 4 plus 3 is going to give us 9 units and now our task is to calculate this tiny segment TB length and I'm going to label this TB length as lowercase a and now we are going to find the value of lowercase a and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, ET length uh, is going to be this uh, PC length if this is 3 then this uh, ET length uh, is going to be 3 units as well and now in this uh, next step I'm going to connect uh, this uh, point A with this point E and uh, this point E with this uh, B as well as you can see in this uh, next step we got this uh, segment uh, EA and this segment uh, E, B. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and E are our three distinct points on the circle, where the line A, B is the diameter, then the angle A, E, B is going to be a right angle. In other words, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So no wonder this angle A, E, B is going to be our 90 degree angle since these uh, points A, E and B on the very same uh, semicircle and uh, A, B is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of angle alpha plus angle beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle alpha since this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this tiny angle is going to be our angle beta and now in this uh, tiny right triangle uh, TBE this angle is uh, beta this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles the triangle BTE and the other uh, right triangle ATE are uh, our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and since uh, these two triangles are similar so we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of uh, BT and ET is going to be equal to the ratio of ET and uh, ET and in our case uh, our uh, this uh, BT tiny segment length is lowercase a so I'm going to replace that one with lowercase a and this uh, ET length uh, is this uh, perpendicular 3 units so therefore I'm going to replace that one with 3 units and likewise this uh, ET is going to be 3 units as well and finally this uh, AT segment length we figured out is uh, 9 so I'm going to replace that one with uh, 9 so therefore we can write uh, lowercase a divided by 3 is going to be equal to 3 divided by 9 now we are going to cross multiply so therefore 9 times a turns out to be equal to 9 let's divide both sides by 9 to isolate a this 9 as 9 is gone so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be equal to 1 unit so therefore our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 1 unit and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole diameter a b length is going to be equal to this uh, segment a t length plus this uh, tiny t b length as you can see in this given equation and now our uh, a t length is uh, 9 so i'm going to replace that one with 9 and our t b length uh, is lowercase a which is one unit so I'm going to replace that one with uh, 1 and furthermore uh, this whole uh, diameter AB is being represented by X so therefore I'm going to replace that uh, AB length with uh, X so therefore we can write uh, X is going to be equal to 9 plus 1 in other words uh, X value turns out to be simply 10 uh, units so thus our uh, x value turns out to be 10 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye